Hello. A duration of time has certainly passed, hasn't it? Well, I assure you, despite our inactivity on Discord and here, we aren't dead. Yet. We've done a few things that we'd like to show today. One of the things we've done is we've switched from the Unity engine to the Unreal engine. You might have heard about this before, but we're saying it now for clarity's sake. Unreal Engine's blueprint system allows us to program much faster and more efficiently. For example, we created a new modular generation system which makes it easier to create levels. Additionally, with Unreal, the possibility of advanced and complex AI behavior is much more feasible. We're also not utilizing Unreal Engine 5's Lumen Lighting System for realistic lighting. As well as some general performance enhancements, such as cutting down on texture sizes significantly, as this turned out to be a larger source of lag in Unreal than it was in Unity. We are also utilizing Unreal Engine 5's Nanite system to render objects with high poly counts at a lower cost of performance. We've also decided that multiplayer is going to be integrated from the beginning, unlike before it was more of an afterthought. We are porting some of the entities from Unity. So far we have the Dimmer, Dollar, Smilers, Spikes, as well as some new faces that you might see soon. Additionally, AI now has pathfinding, which allows it to navigate to any location by finding the shortest possible path. This wasn't possible in Unity as it doesn't have a performant method of handling complex pathfinding AI in an infinite procedural world, whereas Unreal Engine does. We've now fully ported level 0 from Unity and have a new biome called the Endless Halls, as well as new points of interest such as the Manila Room. We also have a new framework for how lights and walls generate in level 0. We've now completely overhauled the Heavenly Pools from what it was in Unity, considering that it now features outdoor areas with seamless indoor and outdoor transitions, and has much more complex and random generation. This specific level utilizes Lumen for more realistic lighting while others don't as of right now, since it's too performance heavy. This level is still a work in progress but will be fully playable in the upcoming beta for beta testers. Sadly, water physics haven't been ported just yet. We're currently working on the warehouse and have a rough start with new textures, more complex generation, props, decals, the blackout system, dollars that spawn in said blackouts, and a soon-to-come actual warehouse. The apartments are extremely early in development and are not playable as of right now, though some assets have been modeled such as the walls and doors. To those who have stuck with us throughout our absence, we are grateful that you haven't left seeing as our project may have seemed dead or abandoned or something along those lines for a bit, but we're back for now. And with that, we're opening up beta testing again, and allowing 15 more people to help test the next beta, which will have most of the content featured in this video and potentially more.